Learn how to make some creepy zombie gingerbread men today on YoYo Max 12. Hello everyone! To make the gingerbread zombies, you will need some gingerbread cookie dough. Now the recipe I'm showing you on your screen right now is one that I've used many times before. It is very easy to work with and it tastes great. And it's the same gingerbread dough I've used to make my gingerbread log cabin video from last year. So I will provide the recipe in the description box as well as a link to that video that has a step-by-step -step how to to put this cookie dough together. Now, what you're seeing on your screen is a half a batch because I was only making a few cookies. It's enough to make about a dozen large gingerbread zombies. When I finished making this dough, I thought it would be cool if I could add a little bit of green food coloring to try to just give it more of a zombie-like look. Now, the best place to add this food coloring is earlier on in the recipe when you're adding all the wet ingredients. But since I thought of it kind of at the end, I kind of blended it in, in the, into the final dough and it worked out quite nicely anyway. Once your dough is completed, roll it into a ball, wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour. This dough is so much easier to work with when it's been chilled. Once it's chilled, place it between two layers of parchment paper and roll it out to a quarter of an inch thickness. And if that dough piece is too large, just cut it into pieces and just put the other pieces in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. So once your dough is rolled out, you are ready to start cutting out your gingerbread shapes. And of course, you can use whatever cutters you happen to have on hand. I have some large ones and some smaller ones, so I did both. Now what I do, once I cut out all the shapes, I leave it just the way it is, like right now. I put it on a cookie sheet and put the whole thing into the freezer for about 15 minutes. And then I'll take it out and I'll pick out the excess pieces of dough between the gingerbread men. And of course you can re-roll those pieces for to make more. And that just makes it so much easier to, to pick up those gingerbread cutouts and put them on your cookie sheet. Cookie sheet should be greased or covered with a silicone mat or parchment paper. Now we're going to do a little bit of zombifying. So what I decided to do was to make some amputee gingerbread men. So I cut off some of the arms and the legs. At first I decided to make it look a kind of jagged looking with a knife. And then I wanted to insert a piece of pretzel stick, which is going to be a bone sticking out of the amputated limb. But I didn't like the jagged look with the pretzel stick, so I kind of smoothed it off a little bit. So just put the pretzel stick in there. That'll be the bone uh, that's sticking out from where his leg was bitten off. And then I cut out some little semicircular bite marks on the head, on the torso, and a bunch of different places. That orange, orange thing I'm using is actually a juicer. You stick it right into an orange to try to get the juice out. I also took a knife and just made the bite marks a little bit more jagged to make them like, look like teeth marks. Now what's great with this dough is that whatever marks you put on it prior to baking will still be there after you're done. So if you want to add scratch marks or stitches or whatever to your gingerbread men to make them look like they've uh, been through a battle or have a little bit of wear and tear on them, you just add it with a sharp knife. You are also free to move the arms and legs around into whatever positions you'd like, of course. Now before baking these, put the whole cookie sheet into the freezer for about 15 minutes. This will help keep the dough from spreading too much. Then bake them at 350 degrees, 15 to 18 minutes until the edges are light brown and the bottoms are light brown. Let your cookies cool completely before you start decorating them. Now what I did is I melted a little bit of white chocolate and I'm going to dip that pretzel stick into the white chocolate just to make it look more like a bone that's sticking out of an amputated limb. And then to make it look more realistic, I'm adding a little bit of red frosting in a few choice places and then adding all those other decorations that you want to add. Now, believe it or not, if you do a Google image search for zombie gingerbread men, you are going to get lots of great ideas of how to decorate these. This first came to my attention when I saw a zombie gingerbread Christmas tree ornament. And I said, well, these would be really fun to do for Halloween. So that's what I decided to do. So make them look however you want to make them look. I'm adding this one some teeth and that one has a bite taken out of his head. So put a little bit of red frosting there. And of course, don't forget the buttons. 
Now, if you want to make it look like your zombie gingerbread man has had an eyeball kind of popped out of his head, you just do one normal eye and the other one, you just do like a black eye socket and then a trailing kind of optic nerve or whatever you want to call it. And then the eyeball hanging off. So you can make these as gross as you want, of course. Now here are a few examples of some of the ones that I made. This guy looks like he's running away. He's all been scratched up. This one has a little bit of pink frosting to look like the brain that's sticking out of his head. They're fun to make. Uh, you can make each one different or you can make them all the same. That's up to you. I hope you give these a try. I have done many Halloween goodies over the years and I've placed all these videos in a Halloween playlist, including these broken glass cupcakes. So go ahead and click right on your screen or check out the link in the description box for this playlist. Thank you for taking the time to give me a thumbs up before you leave and for leaving me a comment. See you next time.